Hi there, my name is Matt Lawrence. I am the Chief Engineer looking after Avro Vulcan XL426 here at London South End Airport. Uh, we have the Vulcan here which is maintained in a fully live high speed taxiing condition and I believe at the moment at this point in time we're the only V bomber in the world that is capable of high speed taxiing. So we have a team of around 20 engineers that come down here on a Saturday all weathers, all different conditions, looking after our aircraft in a fantastic condition. Everybody is free of charge down here. We don't have any paid staff. So we're here maintaining the aircraft for everybody in the public and for all of our members to come down and enjoy. So we're gonna go and show you our winter work program and show you a little bit more behind the scenes. So one of the defects that we have on XL426, we have a multitude at the moment, that's aviation, that's aeroplanes. One of the things we found uh, was on the air conditioning side of it was the ram air valve. We don't actually use it for taxiing, but it's one of the checks that we go through in the cockpit. So it should be closed. Uh, the indicator wasn't working correctly, but to get to it, typical British aeroplane, you have to take out most of the nose gear bay to get to the actual item itself. So to do that, we needed to take out the air conditioning tray. Looking at the air conditioning tray, it needed a bit of work doing to it. So now that's in a million pieces. The main tray of it's got away for blasting. That's now back. Uh, we have new attaching parts. Now, when you go shopping at Tesco's, you'll get a shopping basket full of shopping and it'll cost you the earth, probably around 50 pounds. This bag of parts here, this is all the attaching parts or some of the attaching parts to get the air conditioning tray back together. That there is around 500 pounds. So as you can see, aircraft are expensive. That's just the way it is. So every penny that is raised by um, the public down here, by donations, by memberships, anything that comes in, that every penny is going towards this aircraft, buying items such as this bag of parts here. So at the moment, we're gonna get the air conditioning tray uh, through painting. It's gonna be looking nice and black soon, hopefully this weekend. Uh, and then all the attaching parts are gonna go back together. If we can remember how to do it, of course we can, we've got the books for it. So next time you see the tray will be in its bare metal. We'll show you that in a bit. Uh, and then we'll do another shot later on and we'll show you the tray when it's rebuilt and hopefully back in the aircraft working. Right, so another defect we have on XL426, we noticed this on uh, one of the last power runs and the last high-speed taxi. Number four engine is only going up to 75% power. Now, we wondered why this was. Could it be the chassis mounted fuel system? Is there a defect with that? It turns out, yeah, there is. We've got to change it. So we need to take that off of number four engine. What we have found is a little bit of contamination in the fuel system. So we have 14 fuel tanks. Uh, we only use 12 at the moment. The number one fuel tanks, we don't use those, funny enough. Um, they have perished over the years. So we would like to actually get those replaced in the future. So all of the tanks at the moment, they're carrying all different kinds of problems on them. So they all leak. It's an aeroplane. It's an old aeroplane. They all leak at some point. So we're looking at fixing those leaks or having the tanks replaced in the future. Uh, so the system we use at the moment, it's manageable. So it means we can keep the aeroplane operating. So we're inside number three fuel tank at the moment and number six fuel tank on the starboard side. We believe that there was some contamination in number three tank. Um, there was no contents indicating. So we needed to get inside the fuel tank, looking at what the possible scenario was of why the indication system wasn't working. We now have this unit here. This um, is a fuel contents transmitter. There's two of these inside each of the wing tanks. Now you have a lower connection and you have a higher connection. So the higher connection goes across the fuel tank to another transmitter unit. So it just so happens at the bottom here, there was a dirty contact. So with that dirty contact, that's now wiped out both of the tank contents indicators. So it showed zero fuel or an amount of fuel in number three tank. It was completely incorrect. So there's a bit of fungus in the tank and we believe that's gone through number four engine's chassis mounted fuel system. So there's little micro filters inside the chassis mounted fuel system and they're very, very tiny, very easy to get blocked up. So we believe that's where the problem is. Now to do that, 
We have to get inside all 12 fuel tanks that are working. Um, we're not going into number ones. We're going to go into the other tanks. They'll be cleaned. Uh, every component will come out. They'll go through an ultrasonic bath. Then the actual tank itself, it's a rubber. It needs to be cleaned with methylated spirits. Um, then we'll basically what we'll do is we'll oil the tank so it doesn't go dry. And then we'll start rebuilding all the components back into the fuel tank. Um, when the gaskets come back, they're being commercially made. That's another expense. So once all the gaskets are back and have been manufactured, the tank will be rebuilt. Then hopefully they're going to hold a little bit more fuel than they did. So this year is going to be a really busy year for our team of volunteers. Uh, from all walks of life, we have people that work on our stand. We have people that look after literally the aeroplane, ground equipment, you name it. So it's a very busy year. Lots of events coming up this year. So we have the 40th anniversary of Black Buck. We have the 60th anniversary of 426 being built in its first flight. Uh, we have a multitude of open days. We have a secret cinema. We have a hangar dance. So why don't you come on down, come and buy some merchandise. You could buy one of these jackets. Um, come down, enjoy it, feel a, a howl of a proper Vulcan. It will be doing uh, a proper high-speed taxi with the future, maybe looking at doing some aer aerodynamic braking with the aircraft as well. We have a parachute that's going to come out also. So that's one for the cameras. So see a, a Vulcan going down the runway at full power and you see a big parachute come out the back. That's quite exciting. Takes forever to repack it, but hey, it's worth it. Come on down, come and enjoy it. Yep. 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 Yep.